in Tennessee, RoosterCB.com. This video is for uh, John G. He uh, paid to have a little test video done on his Anytone before it ships out. Quad 5N2. Now, this one's not all the way. It is uh, tuned and ready, ready to go, uh, however you want to refer to it. Um, I do have some all the way ones in stock, but I don't think I have them on the website right now. So the main difference between the all the way and this one is you will gain some average power with the ability to turn your day key down. Again, regulator change, final change, and the uh, mod done to the radio that does that. But not everybody wants that, uh, which is fine. This is a fine radio, um, even without those mods done to it. Um, essentially the same thing on the inside as a 955. Some people have stated that they actually prefer these on sideband to the 955. I'm not sure why uh, they seem to think they sound better. Maybe they do. Uh, maybe a minor um, difference between these and a 955. But you can save a lot of money by getting one of these. Um, if you want to run a four-pin mic, of course, you will need the adapter, which I highly recommend. Running either a Superstar 507, such as this, or uh, something like an Extreme 2018. And there's some other mics that sound okay out there. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to test on AM, test on sideband. Um, I'm actually going to turn our supply down just a little bit. Not that that's going to hurt it, but let's just do 14.6 um, just for the sake of the video there. So uh, what we'll do, we've got our RF power uh, wide open right now. See, I always get mixed up which one's RF power and which one's RF gain. Uh, we'll test the receive first. You can see it receiving. These things have a super, super quiet receive on them. There's been people that have gotten these and thought there was something wrong with the radio because they don't pick up any static. Additionally, if you turn your squelch down too far, you'll see that ASQ come in, and then you'll really have, like, no receive. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say no receive, but it'll make it uh, even more quiet. So just keep in mind, if you turn that too far down, the squelch, if you turn it all the way to the left, like so many of us do on other radios, that ASQ will kick in. But uh, we can turn it up here and make it. You make it feedback or whatever just to show you it does receive and that's just testing the cobra 90 dummy load to dummy load like we normally do here okay so let's key this guy up remember we haven't had the average power mod done so average power is not going to be you know crazy high but we should see it pull forward just a little bit anyway 100 watt slug bottom scale oh so 20 watts average all the way up to 30. Um, if we turn it down to, let's say, halfway, we'll get a 10-watt dead key. Oh, swing into 20 average. So that's still not too bad. When you have one of these done all the way, they'll go from like 10 to 40 or 50 sometimes. Uh, 9 o'clock. Oh, I mean, still keying 6, 5, swinging past 10. And if you turn it all the way down, it's really going to fall off. Ooh, as you can see, you know, six to eight watts average. Now, PEP all the way down. This is on AM, by the way. Hello, audio check one, two, three. Audio check one, two, three. Audio check one, two, three. Audio. Check, one, two, three. audio. When you run them all the way down, they do lose a little bit of modulation. You can kind of see how it's trying to hold it back. And I'm betting if we audio into it, that it won't go over as far. Audi. Yeah, that high tone, it doesn't respond. So it actually responds better to a lower tone. And you can just tell the way it's kind of bouncing that it's lost a little bit of modulation. But what we can do is turn it up halfway. And you'll see this thing becomes a lot more responsive. Check, check. Audio. It's going up to 100 watts PEP. Hello, audio. So not bad at all there. And again, that's on AM. Back out here so you guys can see it. If we want to go to a different mode of operation, we might as well just go ahead and turn our RF power wide open on sideband just to show you what it's capable of. It's upper sideband. Hello, audio, audio, check one, two, three, audio, check one, two, three, audio, check one, two, three, audio. Close to 100 watts PEP. And then lower side, man. Hello, audio, check one, two, three, audio, check one, two, three, audio, audio. Come on with it, burger, burger. So uh, doing, you know, basically what we expect one of these to do, doing a real nice job. Now, they're great sounding radios. Um, I like them a lot. I don't know if I like them more than the other quad five. Most people do. 
I'll tell you guys, most people prefer these over the other Quad 5, the uh, Quad 5 Plus, because it does more power, for one. And a lot of people like the signal meter on it and just like this radio better in general. Um, but that's about it. I don't really know what else to go over it. I mean, just a performance video for him. Again, he wanted to, I don't do a performance video on every one of these. But if someone pays the small fee to have one done, I certainly don't mind taking the time to do one. Um, appreciative of his business, Mr. John, and uh, hope you enjoy the radio, man. Should be a uh, should be a dandy one for you here. I don't know if my clamp meters. I keep meaning to put batteries in this thing, and I keep forgetting to. So there's no telling how it's going to act. But let's just go to sideband and see how much it draws. Oh, oh you. Yeah. So eight and a half amps at 14.7 volts. That's it, guys. Appreciate it, everybody. Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. Quad 5 N2. Again, I've got some of these all the way that I'll be listing up today. I think this was the last tuned one that I have. Got some Quad 6s tuned up and ready to go. Uh, I think one Quad 6 all the way. Uh, several radios to choose from. I know people message me all the time, like, man, you're out of stock on this, you're out of stock on that. Uh, it's not because I don't keep stock. It's because stuff is selling so fast when it comes in. There's about 10 955s on order that'll be going out in the next 10 days right now. So if those, if I had 10 955s sitting here in stock, Stryker 955s, they would all be sold anyway. So that's why I put the pre-order option on the website for the more popular radios, um, specifically the Strikers and the Rangers that we have a hard time keeping. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Rooster in Tennessee. Roostercb.com. See you, bye.